Hey everyone, MechanicMan92 here. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to test to see if you have a leak in your radiator. So the items that you're going to need are safety glasses, gloves, towel of some sort, and your radiator pressure test kit. First things first, make sure that your engine is cooled off and hasn't been run for a while. Now, last time I used my car was early this morning. Right now it's about, say about 5, 5.30ish. So I know that it's plenty cooled off. It's been like six or seven hours since I last used it. Check the owner's man or the manual right here to see what attachments you need. So I know I'm gonna need this, um, this adapter, this, and the actual tester. So let's get to work. So the first thing you wanna do is remove the radiator cap. Put it someplace to stay. Just put it right there. And then you want to set up um, a fixture. So put that right there. And then to these two right here. Spin that on. And then I line this up. Now, each fixture is going to be a little bit different in how you set up. Some of them like that. Others, like this one, you just put it on and rotate it in. Really all depends on what you are doing. Uh, depends on your car. So I just tighten this up. You want to make sure it's tight because you are going to be putting pressure in this. Okay, so. So now, what you want to do, put your pressure tester on it. It snaps in. Then, here, just pump it in. Uh, it says about 12 to 15 PSI. So, okay. So, Okay, so yeah, there I had some technical difficulties. Um, wasn't seated down all the way. So I just tried it again and it seemed to work. So let's try it again, one of you guys. Okay, so well, I'm gonna go about uh, 12 to 15 PSI. Okay, so. There we go, it's about 13 PSI, and it is not moving, so that means I do not have any leaks anywhere. Yep, 13, I do not have any leaks whatsoever, so that means that uh, it worked. So now what you do to release the pressure, you press this uh, orangish yellowish button on the back, that removes all the air from it. Use the collar, and pick it up, just like you would an air tool. And then you wipe off any of uh, the fluid. You do not want to get this anywhere. And then you just want to clean. I wiped it off, so now I just want to put it back. Put 
That way I have it ready for the next time. So again, cleaning this off right here. Now I'm doing it. Wiping this off too. So yeah, this was um, a tool that I got the day after Christmas with one of my gift cards. It is the Maddox Superior Automotive Tools Radiator Pressure Test Kit, MD16-1. I will put a link in the description of the part number and, uh, well, the link in the description of the Harbor Freight website with this tool in it. So now that all those are put away, just take the radiator cap, wipe off any extra fluid. Tighten it on, just wipe off the area. Wipe off my magnetic tray. And there we go. So that was my test for the uh, radiator pressure test kit and show you guys how to um, test the radiator to see if there's a leak anywhere. Um, again, there was no leak because the needle just stayed where it was. Um, if there was a leak, the pressure would go down. Um, and then in that case, you would look underneath the vehicle and see where the leak was coming from. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, I'll be doing more of these videos, more of these how-to videos. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, it's a very snowy day here in Connecticut. So I decided to make a video. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.